all of the great books on Al-Qaeda, and there have been a lot, one of the things that so many of them do is they're actually about the U.S. in Iraq, or they're about the U.S. in Afghanistan. And one of the things I thought was missing was how what was an early success story in the war against Al-Qaeda, defeating Al-Qaeda in Yemen, has once again turned into a very serious security threat. And over the last three years, about three years ago, when they put the bomb on the plane on Christmas Day 2009, the organization was about two or three hundred members. Today, that organization is more than tripled. And so it's over a thousand fighters today, which means that Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula has a much deeper bench upon which to draw uh, for their next attack against the United States. So Al-Qaeda has made Yemen their base, or at least Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula has made Yemen their base for a couple of different reasons. One, the organization was defeated in Saudi Arabia, and Yemen is a much easier place in which to gain refuge. In fact, the title of the book, The Last Refuge, um, suggests that. Also, this is where a number of members of Al-Qaeda, including Nasr al-Waheshi, who's the commander of the organization, they tunneled out of prison, out of a maximum security prison in Sana'a in February of 2006. Really, this was the genesis moment for Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. And in fact, Nasr al-Waheshi, who is Yemeni himself, was Osama bin Laden's personal aide, his secretary for about four years. So what he's done is really use the blueprint that Osama bin Laden had in Afghanistan, and he's implemented that there in Yemen. So Yemen has been a very attractive place, not only because he knows the society, he knows the country, he knows the tribal system, but also the geography and the weak central government has opened up space in which a group like Al-Qaeda can operate. One of the things I think that Americans misunderstand about the threat from Al-Qaeda is that the threat doesn't, hasn't went away, despite some of the rhetoric coming out from the Obama administration of we're disrupting, dismantling, and defeating Al-Qaeda, that in some places, and I would argue Yemen is one of these, what the United States has done has actually exacerbated and expanded the threat. The most important thing that I could tell the Obama administration on how it is to deal with Yemen policy, first of all, I think we have to remember that the U.S. is going to see Yemen through the prism of Al-Qaeda. Yemen is important because Al-Qaeda is there. I think the U.S. can do a very good job with drones, but I think the U.S. has to limit itself to only carrying out high-value target strikes within Yemen and doing away with the signature strikes, which at least in my research suggests that the signature strikes are the ones that are creating most of the civilian casualties in Yemen, and it's those civilian casualties that are increasing the ranks of al-Qaeda and really radicalizing the population.